girls, I really tried to. I'm I'm just saying girls, but like generally, I really tried to to do my paper, but I'm so unmotivated, and I just thought of a funny story that I wanted to tell you. I have a problem with guys that are too flirty. I just get the ick from it. Like, I mean, sometimes yes it's funny to me or even charming but often it just makes me feel uncomfortable so there is this one guy in my in my class and he had to do a group work with me and we had to meet several times over the semester usually in a group not the two of us but so at the beginning oh my god someone came um he was like normal to me you know and I, I'm i very opinionated when it comes to school work you know when I think something is not the right way done the right way I'm just saying it I'm just saying like I think this could be better whatever and then I, I apologized for being so opinionated you know because I realized that he was a little bit offended he was like no it's fine it's fine for group work, it's actually good, but I wouldn't marry you. Which means that he doesn't want a woman with an opinion. Which I find good to know, but what the fuck, like, I never wanted anything from you. Why did he have to bring that into the discussion? Which is weird, straight up weird and not funny. So then he found out that I speak Spanish. And then he was like... <clears throat> Uh, now I would reconsider because you really like Spanish, um, the language, the culture and stuff. So I was like, okay, I still don't want anything from you. And I think he realized that I was just like not interested. So he started asking me out to dinner. And I mean, I know it was kind of like as a joke, but he asked me in total at least three times so at some point I was like, do you really not mean it seriously? And usually it was virtually. So I could just say like, mm -hmm, and ignore it. But then we had to meet in person in the group. And then he was again like, when are we going to go out for dinner? And I was just like, and I didn't really answer. I think I just said like, we, we aren't. <laughs> Because I don't want to go out to dinner with a guy like that. So so he was like, you know, like, because he's very charming. He, he gave me a lot of compliments. And to the point where I was just like, okay. Um, he was like, usually girls. No, no, he was like, why don't you like the way I talk to you? Like, usually every girl loves it. And I'm like, how can girls really like that? I... I find it so cringe when guys are so... Also, my hair is so messy. I don't know. But wait, I find it so cringe when guys are too flirty, really. <laughs> so then, I mean, I told this story to my friends. I kept them updated because throughout the semester, more and more funny things with that guy happened, you know. And then two days ago... Or was it yesterday? No, two days ago. I, I don't even know the time anymore. Two days ago, my friend was like, you know what, I have to tell you something. He, that she talked to that guy. And she's in a long-term relationship, whatever. Like, she's not genuinely interested in him. But she was talking with him about, like, monogamy and um, how he would prefer having multiple women at once. Which I respect, like, everyone has their own preferences when it comes to that. And I literally don't care if it's not my boyfriend. Then I don't have to care about it, you know. Uh, but then <laughs> she was like, she, she she found it so interesting. And he was so nice and so blah, blah, blah. And I was like, mm -hmm. And she, she was like, yeah, I don't understand, like, why you don't like him. Like, I think he's genuinely a good person. And then <laughs> I told her what the guys that I was in the group with told me about him which was that he was pretty homophobic actually which he's just very conservative you know and i respect like if he prefers having multiple women i really don't care 
Um, but if he is discriminating people or being as weird as he was to me, I just don't see how you can still kind of like think he's a good person. He's just bringing out his absolute charm to impress some women to get them. But then, no, I don't know. For me, it's very easy to see like behind this charm. So most guys that are very charming are just a no for me. I mean, my brother is very charming. He's a very good person. But still, I cannot. I know that he's like that to everyone, you know. Also, I find it funny because when we're like an, at an event and he's talking to some woman in her 40s and he's not trying to impress her, but he's just genuinely very, very charming. So these women love just know what someone's gonna this woman love it and but for me it's just so fake even though maybe he it's not he's not being fake on purpose but I just see know like how very charming people are actually like and what they actually think. So whenever someone is overly charming to me I'm like no I don't accept um any compliments from overly charming people because i just don't think they are too accurate like too i don't know yeah but that was my take on on very charming guys and why i don't like them and why i prefer that very unemotional guys because with these guys like when a guy is very charming you know that i just i don't know you, you just don't feel as special I feel like one amongst a thousand, but when a guy is shy or like not very much talking to girls, but then he does talk to you and he likes you and you can feel it, but still he doesn't manage to be very flirty. I found that so much cuter and I don't know. So yeah, guys, being charming is great. But don't expect every woman to love it because maybe some of them have realized that you don't see them as something special.